I'm going to do a real quick video once again. Well, I'm going to try to make it quick. We're going to be hooking up the CDJ2000 by Pioneer up to uh, Serato, Scratch Live. You can see there. There we go. So, but we're going to be doing something different. We are not using any time code. Disk eject. There's nothing. That's because we are in link mode. As you can see here, and sorry for the reflections of the light, but we have access right to there. So load it up. There's our waveform. We can needle drop. It's about the only device that you can really do some crazy spin back like that. Okay, enough of those tricks. Not even really tricks. So, the forward or reverse works. We have no RC. Well, okay. I haven't plugged in, but you're only hooked up to a USB cable. My USB cable is hooked up to a hub, runs no problem. There's no latency at all. If I crank up my... course pitch works the reset works the master if you can see there changes the key on and off loops four loop cut it in half you're in and out That works. Next track. We only got control over three hot cues. We have going here. Get the info on the track. Change the tempo. Wide. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So the way that you hooked up, it's real easy. You make sure you have the latest firmware. You can look that up. You make sure that on Serato over here, you have the latest version as well too, which is, let me just look here, 2.5.0. Um, just in case you go into MIDI, you make sure enable MIDI device is selected, enable MIDI output light in, the USB port one shows up, you plug it in. You know what, it works fine. And as you can see, I have on this side here, I'm running, I am running the time code on that, so this is altered, you still need an SL1 box, of course, and this is an older unit, works fine, needs time code. The disadvantage of time code, of course, is if you don't burn your own, you only have, look how many minutes you only have.
Hey, where's my time button? Remain button. So you got 50 minutes and 39 seconds, but you have to uh, turn the knob and put it back to one again, or the music stops. With HID mode, there's no more CDs to worry about. You don't have to really look at your laptop at all, but you can really see everything you need to see here. And you have the backup of going over to USB, right? So even if I go into my USB mode, while it's still playing, I can browse over. And you can load up your track. So I don't have the audio hooked up, but if I had my audio keys hooked up to my mixer on another channel or this, you know what I mean? I could just simply start it up and mix in the next one. So I could mix between Serato and CD if I wanted to or ever needed to. You know, if you're ever, I'm not a wedding DJ, so it's irrelevant, but if someone came up to you with a, C, you know, a USB stick and they want you to play something and you didn't want to, you know, your Serato box, your USB hub's all plugged up and shit, you can't plug, unplug anything. Well, there is an alternative that you could do as well too. Most places that you're going to be playing, you'd have a port four channel mixer anyway, so this is all possible because you don't need to use up an audio channel out of your uh, your device here, right? Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Like I said, short video, six minutes and 35 seconds. Talk to you later.